aka Patters, welcome back. It's episode 200 something something. I'll just put that right up there. Today we're talking two, two of my favorite things. Number one, Halo. Number two, Simon Bisley. Let's hit that intro. Are you ready for the eclectic one? Is here. Crack it open. What is happening? I'm happy to be back. Normally, if you know, like just just past year, big experimentation with live streaming. Normally, what what we're about to do, what this video is, would have been a live stream. But the live streams don't grow the YouTube channel. Videos do. So uh, we learned the lesson, but we got. A little bit better with live streaming. We built a little bit of a of a connective circle of AKA Patters joining the AKA Pad army coming in and out. Okay. Alright, so alcohol to the side. Let's talk about this real quick. 2006, Marvel and Bungie. Bungie at the time were the Halo guys. Uh, Bungie was like bought by Microsoft. I don't know the exact transition, but it was Bungie was separate, or Microsoft bought them right before Xbox, Xbox went live, and then Halo became a thing, and then Bungie became Halo, and Halo became Bungie. Now it's like three, what, 365 Studios is running the Halo ship. This is, this is back. Right here, this is back during the golden age of the Halo storytelling. This is back when it was fun. This is like the very similar area, the point of Matrix and Matrix Reloaded. It was like that sweet spot where you had the Animatrix, you had some comic books, and, and there was like this level of anticipation. So we got Simon Bisley. You guys know I love the biz, okay? We've done a lot of biz on this channel. People forget, they forget that the biz. This is his like most commercial work. I want to show it to you, but before we go, support your boy, subscribe, leave a comment, hit that like button, hit that bell, you know, all, the, all that crap. Just do it all. Go. We got, we got it. We also have Char by Fire. We can't deal with these green lights. We got we need regular lights. But yeah, we got TBF right here. New new page nineteen, new page twenty, uh, exposition pages. These I, I gotta admit these pages, uh, I always held off on them. They took me a long time to write, but expect full TBF trial by fire updates very soon. Uh, no joke there. Making a sprint by the end of the year. But here it is. This book I have to say. When it comes to value-driven, like, content design, if you want to add value to what you're doing, and I think a lot of the people I speak to are making their own comics. This book retail for $25, and what you get, you get, it's a spot UV, spread cover, great painting. Uh, this So many people miss this. The design work, okay? The different kerning, the different fonts here. Okay, the different size of the fonts. Look, look. Spot UV, even on the inside flap. Ch check out Mobius. Okay, we're gonna be doing. We're gonna go over this Mobius story. Thank God it's only like twelve or thirteen pages. The Bisley one's like about fifty. But here we go, and then we get the image from the cover as this insert art. Full, full on. Get to appreciate it. Really cool stuff too. So. Halo 2 was a big deal because you could have like the, the dual wielding weapons. I this was printed in 2006. Before sitting down with all of you, I didn't line up exactly what the timing was for everything. Okay, but we have a very nice credits page, and you know, like I call this like the industrial page because it's just a lot of the legality, a lot of the credits, very industrial. But this kind of mimics what uh, the website. Halo Waypoint was at one time. They had a, uh, a, a bottom menu selection that was very similar to this, and the menu items would, would um, like jettison up. Kind of cool. So here we go. Nice looking forward. Here's our boy. Here's Simon. 
busily drawing the Master Chief off of what clearly looks like publicity stills, but we get some of his goodness. Now, here's the idea. You hire Bisley. You might be on a deadline. You might be on a tight schedule. But you gotta hire him if you got the money. They got the money. And here we go. So this is this is this is a we're fighting against our expectations of Simon Bisley because some of this looks muddy and some of this looks cramped. And some of this looks like it's a sign of the times of where the Halo franchise was. So we're somewhat in, I think, uh, the first game, level 6, level 7. That's where the Master Chief lands and we encounter the Flood for the first time. And then we have, like, I guess we have the Covenant side of that. We have a bunch of these grunts completely getting destroyed by this unknown enemy. It is the Flood. Now, within the context of the story, the Flood is as mysterious to our characters as it is to us. The Flood is the ancient power that the Halos were created to eliminate. Now, we get some awesome, awesome elite Singili, uh plasma sword practice. This one dude gets cut. One of these guys is a commander. One of these guys is a sub-commander. This purple guy with all the robe stuff, he's the supreme commander. Here we go. We're dealing with a problem within the Halo franchise at this time. Here's the problem, though. We're not tagging our our guys. We all know who's who. We One of these guys is important. One of these guys is going to survive to the end. But we're working off of model sheets. This is before some of the elites had different uh, designs, different colors, different emblems on their helmets. So it is... Simon Bisley working with the best he has. This is what I mean about this being his absolute most commercial work. But here we go. We get the motif here. We get the green. We get the purples. We get our cool close-ups. And here we go. Bisley is drawing the flood. And this is, again, this is why this is so much like a movie adaptation. Because you maybe get the script. You don't get exactly what everything looks like. But you have to draw the script that's adapted from the movie. And these, this is clearly not the flood in the games. Not even close. But whatever. Who cares? He's working off a description. Again, here's the problem. Here's the problem with the with, with the elites, okay? Can you see that? We can't tell the difference. That's the problem. But look at this. Oh, I mean, uh, John Carpenter's it uh, thing right there. Not it, the thing. But very cool. And then, like, this is why we hire Bisley here, everyone. This is why we get this guy on board. Fantastic, fantastic spread page. Uh, he really seems to enjoy drawing the, these plasma swords. But a part of this, though, is, look, if you're more familiar with the material, you can render it better. So the overall story is, like, this elite troop of elite troopers get sent in. They have to rescue one of their... Uh, absolute commanders of the Covenant and they kind of get stuck behind enemy li lines. They're fighting through the Covenant right here. I mean like I loved the pose for this one here. I mean and you could just see like the energy blade just whipping around and we're learning things along the way. We're learning that the um, you know that the ship's disabled. We're learning that the, the, the Covenant uh, higher ups are trying to contain the flood they all know the true nature of the flood they're mining all these uh, like ancient texts from the forerunners that they got from one of the halos about the flood great pose here great pose here yeah and these guys have to now convince the covenant that they're not infected and then they also have to reactivate parts of the ship because parts of the ship are disabled because you know boom these people didn't know how to deal with it, but here we go. So this is like maybe my favorite page. This is like the most busy page in my eyes, even though this pose here is insane. He, he, he's at least nailing the poses, okay? And I absolutely love that. But here we go. So it's getting a little cramp. <laughs> we, you know, like we're deploying ourselves. We're going down, uh, you know, these hover elevators. We all know who's who. We all know who's surviving. We don't know who's dying. But they do fight the, themselves through the flood again. They meet up with the Covenant High Commander. Who basically tells them, look, you, you have to rescue me. And then this guy, the, 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 the elite commander, 
not the commander commander, the elite commanders like Luck. Uh, we're going to split it up in two teams. Even though he hates him, he's like commander and he's, he tells him everything. And then this guy's like, uh, no, you have to do it my way. And he, get, he gets like punched out. Okay. But here's the thing. Okay. This dude is trying to save everyone. He realized splitting the team up is going to kill one half of his team. They split up. They go YOLO. Uh, really cool stuff here, though. They go nuts. I mean, like, here we go. And and this is where we are. So we're at, like, I don't know. Uh, I can't guesstimate the exact materials Bisley's using. I mean, it's it could be all acrylic. It could be some ink. I'm not really sure because this isn't typical Bisley, but... We get some fantastic shots of oh, him picking up this this flood infected humans with double plasma swords. Really cool stuff. But look, more of the Covenant die. We're left with one Covenant dude, and now, now we have this conversation with the Covenant Hive. So this was the big revelation, I believe, like right at the end of of Halo Two, right? It, it's it it was Halo Two, not Halo One. Or, or Halo 3. But Halo 2, we see that the Covenant has this hive mentality. That, that there's like an intelligence there. And they're using uh, the need of flesh to gain more intelligence. And they're actually like this super intelligent hive mind. So they're having this conversation. Uh, his his friend, his sub-commander, is infected. He's going, you know, he's going to have to kill him. Slices him right in two. And look at some of this. This is awesome. But yeah, so essentially... Essentially, the hive floods like, look, um, like, what are you going to do? And the guy's like, well, I'm just going to, um, you know, take, you know, take the one ship. We're going to escape. And uh, I guess, like, you assume that that the um, covering the ship gets destroyed. And then there we go, <laughs> Mr. Bisley, his most commercial work, in my opinion. Uh, so many high high points. I mean, like his posing is just awesome. But you can you you can see. He's working off of one model sheet for everything. You know, like one model sheet for the grunts, one model sheet for the elites. He's working off a description for the flood. This makes finishing this work difficult, but he's a pro. He gets through it. These are the things I absolutely love about Bisley, which is when uh, he has things like fading into the horizon and you just see those quick like brush strokes. Um, those like deep grays that ju that just kind of like blend into the horizon. I dig it so much. But yeah, a lot of fun, people. I mean, here too. Like, see, you see how how the the flood is merging with an animal, with like a human, with some covenant, and it's it's using the weapons. So th this is what this is really what makes the flood the absolute coolest video game enemy in fucking history makes it so freaking fun to play that's why we love halo but just not really cool stuff um yeah do i wish it was a little bit more refined do i wish the values were a little bit more blended yes but hey it's better than not having a bisley work on a halo and i think you can tell he had limited limited knowledge and i feel like he he did hit it out of the park so everyone Thank you. Next up, we'll do Mobius. And cheers! Yeah, so look, look, it's it's interesting, right? Because sometimes it's like you question the expectation. And and I even being an artist myself, I battle with the idea of when I get older, do I get better or do I get worse? I feel like the older I've gotten, I've gotten so much better. And it's weird when I mirror that with other professionals where sometimes it's just a lot of this stuff, the older these guys get, the more it looks phoned in. And I have to say, I'm not going to fetish, fetishize, fetishize their work, okay? I think some of these guys, when they were good, they were the absolute best in human history. But then the career kind of like starts and the skids and the turns and things aren't as popular anymore. And uh, Bungie calls and, and uh, Halo comes knocking on your door and you just take that awesome Halo paycheck. I get it. But, mm, like, I, I'm, I'm on the fence on exactly how much I like the story in this. But coming up 
we're gonna be doing Mobius because we're, we're Mobius also has a story in here. But you know, we got Halo Infinite dropping in the next few days. We gotta get going with that Halo content. Be on the lookout. We're going to do uh, some Halo live streams uh, on some throughout all the social media. So just just be mindful for that. AKA Patters, I love you. Don't just show this video off to someone and help a homeboy out. And subscribe. Thank <laughs> you.